who let the monkeys out of it? Oh. Well, hello, ladies, gentlemen, children, monkeys of all ages. Welcome back to the circus and welcome back to a pass around knife. An overview. This is a day two review. Basically, after having this knife in my pocket for a short time, it is time to hand it off to another knife reviewer so they can experience it for a short period of time and tell you what their thoughts on it. You may think that's not useful to you, but it is useful to us. Um, and we're hoping it is useful to you. But you may be able to tell where this one came to me from. And that is Brother JB over at Big Red EDC. Brother, thank you for keeping things moving and passing this along to me. I'm going to set your red bird down there in the corner and those are actually going back in the package when this goes back out to the next person so qsp this is the budget line so this is their kind of granite looking two-part box a little bit of foam and what have we here hello i know what it is did you catch a glimpse there do you already know what it is i set that over there pow if you don't know what it is, this is the baby penguin. Get you down here. And this is a full-sized penguin. Thank you to Brother Winchester for the full-sized penguin. He donated to the channel. This is a baby penguin. And let me tell you, uh, as much as I love the penguin, this is a great ambassador knife. This one nicely broken in. Um, this is just a great knife. I understand why it makes such a great ambassador knife. Uh, that hiking guy, Chris, uh, fell in love with this as one of his knives. Um, he has this knife now with a M390 blade swapped out scales so he could have the red oh hey the red micarta scales on the m390 blade he didn't like the denim micarta so he has what looks like this exact knife now only instead of d2 his is m390 yeah that's how awesome this knife is a left-handed person loves this knife and i fell in love with this little guy immediately upon getting it out of the box. Um, this micarta feels much better than this to me. Soft, a little bit more nap to the fibers in it. So very like that. You can see they replaced the pivot. Now has the QSP slightly nicer machined pivot on there rather than just the domed plain pivot. Same clip, same number of screws and everything. Here's the big one. Look at that. 14C28N, this is a dealer sample. But yeah, same lanyard attachment, exact same pocket clip. All of that is just the same as it was before. A slight change in the micarta, the liners, the liner lock access, all of that is still the same on both so oh let's just leave that i know i'm going to need it for something else but uh still flow through still uh it's just shorter so it's going to be lighter shorter the ergos my finger now hits at just the right point where it's just over the top of where it curves down to the tip this is going to be a perfect ergo work knife for me as far as doing control cuts, as far as doing any kind of power cut that I would use a Warncliffe blade for, or pinching. Now I'm way out where I want to be at the tip when I go to do a pinch cut with this, which is how I would open boxes where I don't want to slip through and get down into anything below. So I am very much looking forward to this guy as much as I use this to open things, very much looking forward to this guy. So let's close it up real quick because I am going to do a comparison 
with some of my other smalls. So, some of my swankiest, the Giant Mouse Ace Riv, the Viper Knives Lila, designed by Vox, both of them actually designed by Vox, both of them way exceeding the price of this. These are what I would consider luxury knives. So you're looking close to $200 on either one of these. This one I expect to come in around $40, $45. I don't know the MSRP or the map. If I can find that, I will put it up here and I will put it in the description. Um, but yeah, 14C28N hitting in these classes, which are M390 and LMAX. But uh, put you guys over here for a second. We'll go with the Spyderco Little Native Hair Longer and the ABKT Grunt. Nearly exactly the same length as the Baby Penguin there. So, what are we going to do now? We're going to open them up and take a look at how. Let's see if we can reverse flick. Oh, absolutely. So, completely different blade shapes on all of these. I love that. All of these now get bigger than the penguin when they're open. So, you have a fairly short blade on the baby penguin. It's kind of what I'm driving home. But... The ABKT Grunt, probably half the price of this. Hollow Ground um, 8CR, I believe this one is. Um, you can see the Leela really dwarfs it. Um, and the, GM, uh, the uh, Giant Mouse Ace Riv, you probably got a quarter inch up on the, the blade. So those are my comparisons I have for this. It is a small, it has a good, I think, handle to blade ratio for something this small. It is a true three finger knife, but I'm gonna spend almost all of my time choked up either in a pinch grip or up here on the, something like this, I would think. So, Looking forward to all of that when it does finally come out. It is supposed to be out in August, maybe September, but currently slated for August release. The baby penguin here has a two and a quarter inch blade. About two and an eighth of that is cutting edge. Overall length of five and a half inches and a... Uh, closed length in the pocket of about three and an eighth grippable area though is only about two and five eighths so unless you cheat up up here which you can you can kind of cheat a little bit um you can get all the way up there if you try. So I'll give them the full three and a quarter. How about that? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, if you have really big hands or really chubby fingers, uh, mine are fairly chubby. And that's why I know uh, the way I'm probably going to be holding it. This will still work for me. But if you are going to hold it like a normal knife... Um, even with fingers just as chubby as mine, you're barely getting that third finger on there. So um, it may not be the most comfortable. You may want to stick with the full size penguin at that point. But uh, for me, I will be picking one of these up as soon as they come out. Uh, that is the kind of praise and the kind of usefulness I see in this one. For me, I thought I would be more experienced. Uh, excited about the Penguin XL, which has a flipper tab, that one's coming as well. And that one is actually in the pass around, so I will be checking it out as well for you guys. But for now, that's really about all I have for you on this one. So until I see you again, and I do hope I see you again, stay well, be kind, do good. That's it. This is Grumpy, and I'm out. I'm taking this baby penguin with me. Peace.